Hello and welcome to Assume Knowledge, the channel where we unravel the mysteries of our world one topic at a time. Today we're diving deep into the Earth's surface to explore the general assumptions about tectonic plates. Let's crack open the crust of common misconceptions and reveal the true dynamics of our planet's foundation. Imagine giant puzzle pieces floating and shifting beneath our feet, powerful enough to shape continents, form mountains, and trigger earthquakes. These are the tectonic plates, the hidden forces that constantly remodel our planet. But what assumptions do we often make about these geological giants? And more importantly, are they correct? Firstly, a quick recap of what we're dealing with. Tectonic plates are massive slabs of Earth's lithosphere, comprising both the crust and the upper mantle. These plates have been on the move for about 3.4 billion years, shaping the Earth as we know it today. Assumption one, all tectonic activity happens at plate boundaries. It's commonly believed that the Earth's geological activity, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, only occurs at plate boundaries. This is largely true. However, there's more to the story. While most seismic and volcanic activities are concentrated at these boundaries, intraplate earthquakes and volcanic activities can occur within the plates themselves due to stresses generated by plate movements. Assumption two, plates move because of magma convection. Only. Another popular assumption is that tectonic plates move solely because of convection currents in the magma beneath Earth's crust. While this is a significant driving force, plate motion is a more complex process. The movement is thought to be driven by a combination of magma convection, the creation of new plate material at ocean ridges, and the subduction of plates, where one plate is forced beneath another. Assumption three, tectonic plates have been moving at the same rate. The rate of plate movement has varied over geologic time. While it's true that plates typically move at rates ranging from 0 to 10 cm annually, this rate can change due to various factors, including changes in mantle convection and interactions at plate boundaries. Assumption 4, plate tectonics, is a recent discovery. The concept of continental drift, a precursor to plate tectonics, was proposed by Alfred Wegener in 1912. However, the theory of plate tectonics as we know it today came to be widely accepted only after the 1960s, following the validation of seafloor spreading. Assumption five, the Earth's surface area is changing due to tectonic activity. It's often thought that tectonic activity is changing the Earth's surface area. However, the surface area remains constant. New crust is created at divergent boundaries and old crust is recycled back into the mantle at convergent boundaries, maintaining a balance. Assumption six, Plate boundaries are always clear-cut. One might assume that the boundaries between tectonic plates are always distinct and well-defined. However, in reality, these boundaries can be complex and sometimes diffuse. For instance, at conservative plate boundaries, where plates slide past each other, the movement can create a network of faults rather than a single fault line. This complexity can lead to a variety of seismic activities across a broader area than initially expected. Assumption seven, continental and oceanic plates are the same. There's a common misconception that continental and oceanic plates are similar in composition and behavior. In truth, they are quite different. Oceanic plates, primarily made of dense basalt, are thinner and more prone to subduction. Continental plates, composed of lighter granitic rocks, are thicker and less likely to be subducted. This distinction is crucial in understanding the dynamics of plate interactions, such as mountain building and volcanic activity. Assumption eight, tectonic plates movement is random. While it may seem that tectonic plates move randomly, their movement is actually guided by specific geological and physical forces. As previously mentioned, convection currents in the mantle play a key role, but other factors like the slab pull at subduction zones and ridge push at mid-ocean ridges also contribute significantly to their directional movement. The interactions of these forces create a pattern of movement that, while complex, is far from random. Assumption nine, platytectonics. Only affect the Earth's surface, it's easy to assume that the effects of platytectonics are confined to Earth's surface. However, the impact of these moving plates goes much deeper. 
the process of subduction, where one plate slides beneath another, not only affects the surface through earthquakes and volcanoes, but also plays a crucial role in the Earth's internal heat regulation and material recycling. This deep Earth activity has profound implications for the planet's long-term geological and environmental evolution. Assumption 10. The study of plate tectonics is purely academic. Finally, some may believe that the study of plate tectonics is of academic interest only, without practical applications. In reality, understanding plate tectonics is vital for various practical purposes, including predicting earthquakes, exploring mineral and energy resources, and even understanding past climate changes. The knowledge of how and why plates move helps us prepare for natural disasters and inform strategies for sustainable resource management. As we peel back the layers of assumptions about tectonic plates, we uncover a world of complexity, beauty, and profound significance. The dance of these giant earth plates shapes not just our landscapes, but also our understanding of the planet we call home. Thank you for tuning in to Assumed Knowledge for this geological journey. If you're intrigued by the dynamic world beneath us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting explorations. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and continue to challenge what you assume you know.